Now watch. Turn off these. Turn off the main AC isolator. And wait for this to go out. Now the power goes out. I wait another 30 seconds so the computer in, in this Aurora clears its brain. I now turn on the solar support main switch which connects it to the mains. Then come over to here and I'll turn on this one here first up and now we have power on now go for its own jargon So we have connection. Right. I'll wait another thirty seconds. At that point of power, one, it, it's measuring some, I, I don't know how that, it must be residual, some bloody thing. So, actually it's connected okay on that one. I'm just showing a few things. Power out. So everything right. So now I turn on the next one. Whoops. It doesn't matter. It, it's uh, still got running. Recognizes it. Power in one, power in two, so power in one, uh, one's just starting up now, riso leak 20, okay it's perfect, so it's reset itself, inverter's okay, so I don't know what's going on. It's been doing ever since I've had this bloody thing, obviously, but I never realised it until I retired. And that's why my power output was such down there last year. I had good returns because I was out every day while I was retired or on holidays. 
and I checked it out and I found out this thing was not starting up until, or well, sometimes wouldn't start up at all in winter, which is ridiculous.